Bridge tangled fishing line is one of the biggest threats to seabirds living in our area. And now volunteers are doing something about it at one of the longest fishing piers in the world right here in the Tampa Bay area. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us the danger discarded fishing line poses to birds and rides along with volunteers taking on the job of collecting all of that hanging fishing line. Seabirds are part of what makes our Tampa Bay area so special. But their biggest threat is something man-made. So you can see that bird over there on the right. See how he's missing part of his wing? You can tell right away that was a fishing line injury. Fishing line entanglements injure, trap, and kill seabirds like these pelicans. It's actually one of the most frequent injuries we see with birds in Pinellas and parts of Hillsborough County. And the amount of hooks and fishing line that's found ingested or wrapped around these birds is disturbing. We obviously had to move into a bigger jar. And most of the birds here came in because of fishing line injuries. A lot of them so hurt that they can never leave. Last year, nearly 2,000 birds came into the bird hospital at Seaside Seabird Sanctuary in Indian Shores with fishing line entanglement injuries. But there are people hoping to prevent this from happening. I went out with Tampa Bay Watch volunteers who are trying to help. We're in Tampa Bay, right where it actually meets the Gulf at the Skyway Fishing Pier, where volunteers are removing tons of fishing line and nets so wildlife doesn't get caught up in it. Equipped with poles that have a saw on the end and a net to catch the hooks and line, these volunteers are on an extremely difficult mission of weaving through the narrow concrete pilings to collect fishing line and hooks. We've got 12 hooks just in this tangle. Left behind by fishermen on the Skyway Pier. Unfortunately, sometimes when they cast, it gets stuck on an old span of the old Skyway Bridge. This bird was stuck in line until the fishermen above cut the line before volunteers could get there to help. They say cutting the line is a death sentence. I can't tell you how many many birds that we've received found hanging in the mangroves where they return to their nest during this time of year just because someone cut the line after hooking a bird. And end up like this. These bird bones were found hanging in tangled fishing line. Volunteers collected nearly 24,000 feet of the tangled line. You can imagine how detrimental that could be for wildlife. Their hope is that people will be responsible fishermen, use the fishing line disposal areas, pick up trash even when it's not yours, and if you do hook a bird, do the right thing. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to reel the bird in and then you remove the barb, which is part of the hook. Or call for help, because for seabirds, like pelicans, their life depends on it. And of course, any pollution in the environment impacts our human health. Be, be a good human. In Pinellas County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.